how to revise IGCSE biology. As you progress towards your examinations, it's important that you have a revision method which is both efficient and methodical. The first thing you require is a copy of the syllabus. If the student doesn't have this, they can obtain a copy from their teacher and should do so as soon as possible. The syllabus is divided up into a set of syllabus statements, an example of which would be 2.17, and in this, syl this syllabus statement we are required to describe photosynthesis. Having identified what we're going to revise, we then proceed to the video. The videos are located on YouTube. They are on a channel called Click for Biology. And from there, you need to identify the correct playlist. In this instance, it would be IGCSE plants. There you will find a video with the same syllabus statement code number 2.17. View the video, which will be no more than three to four minutes, usually. And from this, the student should identify four to five key points. This may require the student to view the video two or three times. The four or five key points can then be placed on a flashcard, or indeed the student may prefer to write their own notes or draw diagrams. In this case, the student should follow the method with which they're most comfortable and which works best for them. We can then progress to test our knowledge and understanding of syllabus statement 2.17, but it may be worthwhile at this point to do a loop through the textbook reading through and identifying any additional key points that the student may feel they wish to add to the four or five points from the video. I recommend that students focus on the electronic version of the book called Collins, which is specifically written for the Edexcel GCSE Biology course. Students can test their knowledge and understanding using homework questions, which once more come from a source called Collins, and these are available from school. Teachers will provide these. In addition to the questions, we will also provide the answers, which will help the student to uh, identify any misunderstandings. The testing can also be done with past paper questions, which can be provided once more by the teacher. Having carried out the test of the syllabus statement, the student then returns to the syllabus and moves on to the next syllabus statement, for instance 2.18 and repeats the cycle. If at any point during this the student discovers that they can't understand uh, the key points or what is required in the statement, then they should make a note of the syllabus statement, for instance 2.17, and see their teacher at the earliest opportunity, referring the teacher to the syllabus statement with which they are having problems. This provides the student with an efficient and methodical method of revision which can be planned over the remaining few months prior to the examinations. 
For further information, please contact the student's teacher.